All right, it's time for Quester Semi Glory. It's a very special one. That's post SGDQ. Oh my god, I'm so tired. But it was a great time. So we're gonna do some typical speedrun yes, practice. Was. I've got uh, Kenny on voice with me as well. He was the commentator for our run. How you doing, Kenny? Yo. Yes, and I apparently got criticized for not breathing. I'm not really sure. <laughs> for not um, or providing commentary. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I saw a tweet. I, I went looking for tweets again and saw somebody basically like somebody tweeted that like, man, the the this the Twitch chat is so awful. They're like ragging on some run for the runners not make you know not explaining stuff. And then someone responded to that like, I would respectfully point you to the cactus run in which the commentator was. Uh, you know, railed on for commentating. <laughs> so dumb. I like it. Well, anyways, we had a good time at SGDQ. Our run was at balls o'clock on Monday morning, yep. 3 a.m., roughly thereabouts. Uh, we did a good run, though. We had a new recorded PB, according to their timer, and I'm not going to bother retiming it since we did a better one, like, the next they day. They will retime it. Oh, they're going to retime it for <laughs> it, us? Sorry. It wasn't... Yeah, the, the one that was on the stream was not actually a PB, but... Aww. We're not really surprised by that. Yeah, not really. It was pretty it close, It had to be though. off by like a minute. It was off by a minute? Holy shit. Alright, so it wasn't that close, but whatever. It's fine. So I'm gonna flap my gums while I do a cactus run here. We're gonna show off one of the characters that we had in the bid war, but did not make it. In fact, cactus was the absolute bottom. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, I like the part where she was at five bucks when everybody else had double digits. <laughs> Early on. That was pretty hilarious. Nobody likes cactus. That's unfortunate, because right. she's Cactus, actually really shout, shy. shout out to Dairy Queen. Cactus can go get a five buck lunch while everybody else actually, you know, destroys robots. Oh, man. It's pretty good. All right. So through uh, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Okay. So I'm super tired, obviously. <laughs> but um, this is Cactus. Kenny did a great job on commentary. So props to him. Thank you for doing that, Kenny. It's really awesome. Um, yeah, so Assault Rifle Flamethrower, pretty standard, <laughs> pretty fucking standard, I mean, nothing super special, but her flamethrower, flamethrower melts everything, just a done, done zone. Uh, pretty fast, my actual, um, my best PB is actually the Cactus, which is super surprising. I'm not that great with her, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> And I'm really disappointed that we didn't get to do Aubergine Starch for the run. That would have been super good, since that's pretty much exclusively what we were practicing for at a long time. I knew that I could, at least I knew that I could cover, uh, get us covered with uh, the Holly shirt. That yeah, I had yeah. So we had three of the four covered. Yeah. And it's a good, <laughs> yeah. it's a good thing Cactus wasn't taken, I guess, because we wouldn't have had any representation there. Oh, we could have made the joke though. It's like, and you guys voted for like, what, what, what is this character that you voted for? We have no idea who this ca character is. Oh, yeah, her yeah. name might be in the title of the game. Exactly. <laughs> might just be the protagonist, but who cares? I mean, it's fine. Already got a bad start to zone one. Yeah. Oh, jeez, so stupid. Oh, oh, that scared me. Oh. Oh. That, uh, the S plus break. I was not used to it since we were practicing without it all week. So I was like, oh fuck, that scared me. That's all right. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, so I did get quite a few more followers for the GDQ run, which is great, which is super nice. Like 30 some or whatever, which for nice. somebody who starts with, you know, 100 or whatever, that's a dang good percentage improvement. Yeah, I got like one. <laughs> you should definitely get because more. Because they don't actually show commentators' names anywhere. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's unfortunate. I could have sworn they used to do that, but I don't know. I might be imagining things. <laughs> I know they do it for like the, some other events like RPG Limit Break or like some of the Zelda randomizer races or whatever. But... Yeah, and I mean like they did it for us during the, uh, the relay we did on Speed Game. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's right, because it was, it was you, CJ, and... Who else, who else did Counter Smith, Me and Smish came in after his run, and then CJ came in to replace basically. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, that was, a, that was a shitty filament. Or turbine? No, that was a shitty turbine. I'm so good at this game, I don't know the levels. 
Yeah, I avoided saying this so that I wouldn't brain fart in the middle of everything else I was saying. So I don't know. Do you remember? Oh, I think it was dinner that donated to make me sing. Yeah. What a shit. It was dinner. <laughs> yeah. No, it was actually really fun. It's unfortunate that it didn't happen in Zone 3, because I like Zone 3 music a lot better than Zone 4. I mean, he might have donated during Zone 3, but they got to read it. That, that could be. Relay. But, I mean, he managed to work on lyrics. Plus, I, I don't think we got a full squawk during the run, which is super unfortunate, nope. but it just never nope. happened. And then, and then I realized that we also didn't account for whoop, which happened during the free player, I think. Oh, we okay. Did, did I not do a whoop? I, I thought I did. Maybe I did. That's fine. You did something that was sort of halfway towards a squawk, but it wasn't really bad. Yeah, it was, it was a bit of a surprise noise, but not quite the full experience. Yep. So I kind of jit people out of that, and I'm sorry. But that's how she goes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we like gave fair warning and everything in the beginning, and then we didn't actually get a squawk. That's that's if if Chad's gonna be pissed about something, he might as well be mad. Yeah, well. And not about the fact that I might not have believed enough or something. <laughs> Instead of the fact that she did awesome commentary, I mean. Like, I want to know how they would react. Well, actually, I really don't. But like, I, I want to know, relatively speaking, if they had a problem with me not breathing. Then what about succinct and punchy on the Freedom Planet commentary? Yeah, because uh, that was like non-stop rapid fire. He was just trying to keep up with what Flagurvy was doing, and that run was amazing. And uh, Flagurvy actually said something um, yesterday on the Shovel Discord that like that is the fastest run at a marathon of Freedom Planet. Nice. Uh, yeah, that went really wow. well. Wow, that's great. But yeah, it was cool to see Fladerby there. Um, so uh, I got to talk to Tanachi quite a bit. Didn't really get to talk to Natsanubi, who was the other couch person for Munch Kubas, but I hung out with Munch Kubas and Tanachi while Munch was practicing Shovel Knight on Monday. All clear. <laughs> when they made sure that the donation actually, like, appears. I guess, so like, I was, we were worried that there was actually a bug in the system, but I guess maybe they were intentionally holding it back. Because, like, that they did the same thing with, like, you know, Breath of the Wild and other things towards the end of the week, that the donation incentives didn't even open up for them until, like, a day or two beforehand. Like, I, I saw people huh. on Twitter getting, like, mad about, like, you know, like, is there no Breath of the Wild run? What the hell happened? And, uh, but no, it was just hit. They were, tr they were basically banking on people donating in droves once they re reveal each bonus incentive, I guess. So what do we end up with total then? Like 1.76 or something yeah. really close to that? 1.76 yeah. million. Fucking awesome. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Sam City <laughs> 1 sucks, Kenny Sager. Yeah, I mean, it did have the most thrilling licorice battle of any oh, runs yeah. that I had seen. Because she got a couple of batteries in there. The yeah, that, that, was, that was super dumb. We were we had a really good start to it. I think we got like the first two or three, and then she sniped the second. Oh yeah, because I had time to talk about you not wanting to let her get batteries or something, and thus I got blamed. Oh for please, it. all right. All right, so I had kind of a shitty zone one and Embry. I'm already seven and change behind. And these are not even the correct splits because I didn't re-split for the relay way back when. Wait, what? <clears throat> so when we did relay, right, we had just the timers on screen, and oh, I think that I, was your PV. Yeah, I think I fucked up oh. my Medulla split, so I don't think these are even right. So okay. the only way to fix it is to get a new PV. <laughs> well, wait. So what's wrong with it exactly? Is the Medulla split too high, or I, I I think like the Ether Sphere split is like two seconds because I forgot a split in there somewhere. Oh. Okay. And then I split late because I wanted to make sure whoever was after me, which was you, I believe, uh, started on time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I got a PB by like four seconds. Nice. That's right. We had like three or four PBs during that relay. It's awesome. 
I mean, it's 59.45, so it's still like six minutes, six minutes and 45 seconds off of the world record flickerish, I think, because I think CJ, like, was it CJ who went and got 53 flat? And I was like, yeah. Yep, we can all feel bad now. I mean, at least it's not just me, but we can still feel bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a real, it's a real tight race for first, second, and third, though. I think we're only about 20 seconds apart between the three. First and second were 15 seconds apart. Uh. Uh, third was a few minutes behind. But we would have it would have been a few minutes between each one if TV hadn't like missed the battery on the door. <laughs> and not. everybody was looking at me fight licorice versus licorice <laughs> commentary, and then they looked over at TV and I'm like, wait, we already saw him fight that. What happened? Yeah, that sucks like right at the last minute on Medulla. One pip of life left and he misses the battery. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah, CJ is 53 minutes flat. Moon is 10 seconds behind him. You are actually 10 seconds behind Moon. And then I'm over in another time zone at 45. <laughs> and then Mokbot is at 7. Well, hardly anybody runs Lickers, which is unfortunate, because she's super fun to do. Yeah. I would definitely have to get a lot more. Like, I don't. I don't pick apart, like, how her secondary works and everything. I know CJ picks apart everything in this game. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> I just kind of flail and about I... until something happens. <laughs> I don't want to kind of, uh... fix things apart as well. But, yeah. I don't know. I got about eight hours of sleep today, but I feel like I need twice that much, and I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm not sure how this is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I took I'm very... tomorrow off. Yeah, I'm very tempted to spontaneously take another day off, but I feel like that wouldn't be great either. I don't know. <laughs> that would be very little notice and kind of gross. I mean, yeah, I guess you want to keep your job, so probably not the best idea. <laughs> Brothers <laughs> showed up and said you do sometimes sound like a bird. <laughs> Damn it! I don't hear it, man. Actually, I do. I was just hamming it up a bit for the run. Yeah. But I, I totally hear it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do is run down to the zoo. Nah. I would be no good at that. <laughs> but you'd have an excuse for bird noise. <laughs> That's true. Well, I don't need an excuse, man. <laughs> this shit just surprises me sometimes. Hey, G.I. Jones, how you doing? Good to see you. Hope the run was passable for you. Oh my god, I almost took it down. Some an idiot. So yeah, I'm really surprised at how well the bid war went. We raised 1600 bucks for all the characters. Yeah, it was pretty good for a game that nobody's heard of. Yeah, it's crazy. It was... And we're still wondering who the heck is putting money into Holly. <laughs> Who was sniping it back and forth and giving us all heart attacks right before the run? And, and unfortunately, the tracker is in intentional potato mode question mark right now, so we can't really find it. Oh. Like, you can't really go back to pages because it's just like, nope, I'm just going to send you to the first page of the tracker again. Um, which, from what Sam heard from Muffins, if I recall correctly, is intentional because, like, to basically to mitigate load while the event's actually going on when the donation station actually needs to keep up with donations. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I know it was, like, hardcore down for a long time during the breath- or right before the Breath of Wild. Uh, yeah, I guess that's not surprising. Because there's just so much stuff coming in, I guess. I'm still wondering how that one went over in general. I didn't really, like, on- like, on Twitter I was kind of, like, bracing for negativity when I looked around, but I didn't see anything, but I looked like I think I was looking before the one Oh, that was dumb. Fuck me. But just because of how that got submitted, exactly. I don't know... I, like, I don't know what the majority of the things whether, whether that Reddit post months ago was by a vocal minority of the community, or whether all the top owners felt that way, or what. Or a legit consensus amongst them. Yeah. It's hard to tell with that sort of stuff. I mean, like, you know, to be fair, Orca is in the top 10 in the, in the, in the, in the, in the 
anymore. We're talking more than one category. But, uh, from what I understand, the run itself went pretty well. I saw most of it, but I didn't understand any of it because I haven't played the game. Yeah, I, I might as well watch it. The thing is, I might as well still... I, I still haven't watched a whole ton of things from HBQ that I wanted to watch because I'm an idiot. Ugh, and I don't zone too. remember to do those things. But, uh, yeah, there's some things I should watch from SGDQ. Actually, I want to watch Play Derby's Freedom Planet Run again, because in the actual stream room, like, so, from what I could tell, the audio guys, I mean, it's power-up audio. They know what they're doing. The audio guys did a pretty good job when it comes to the stream room, so, um, okay, we'll make, an, we'll make a special exception for TGM. We'll talk about that later. Oh, oh I, Jesus. All right, sorry. TGM and its hour-long setup block that raised, like, 15. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, like, on the stream itself, the audio was good, but the room, the, like, the ballroom that the stream room was in, the ballroom that was the stream room, words, um, had a lot of reverberation, and depending on, like, the type of voice that commentators had, it could be really hard to hear or understand the commentators. And unfortunately, Succinct and Punchy kind of fell into that uh, problem sometimes. So I may watch it again just to actually hear all the stuff you were saying. Yeah, there's oh, a God. bunch oh, of runs. I want, yeah, yeah, you just saw that, didn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was so dumb. Well, I'm pretty sure that Ooh. happened to be in, when I, I was just doing a run before while you were still on the road, I guess. And uh, I didn't time it because I knew I was going to be crap anyway. I haven't Clear. run this in forever. And I'm tired. Huh. But, um... I fell down on phase five because the wasps. So you know how the wasps never surge towards the outside wall. Yeah, they did that well, time, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> they surge towards the outside wall. I'm like, what? The, that's never happened before. So now we've got two. That's never happened before this week. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had one of those during one of our like maybe it was the player run or something. I think I so. Remember. With one of the boxes on transit. Oh right, one of the boxes in the middle of transit stayed. Like, that was the one that stayed intact, and normally it's one of the corner boxes that stays till the end. That was really weird. <laughs> it's like, okay, we have more maneuvering to do now. Oh, <laughs> of course he is. Sam, Sam is doing Sam things. Which, you know, even more shoutouts to Forte, because Forte won't take Sam. <laughs> that is right. Oh, also, yeah, world records. World records. Yeah. We set two world records at GDQ this year. <laughs> yeah, it's just a matter of bond uploading them eventually. Yeah, yeah. I've got them on my flash drive. Obviously, you just got back and now you're streaming. But I'll take Bond's care of them. got them on a hard drive, on a USB you know, flash drive. And uh, we've got incoming 3P and 4P uh, world records. That's right. Come at us. Because... Actually, I'm trying. So there were, but uh, okay, yeah. I mean, like, um, little, little known secret: there are no three and four P ones right now. So that's why. <laughs> uh, but we'll see if that actually spawns any kind of competition too. Yeah, uh, and neither run was really we'll spectacular, if... but yeah. we did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the four-player run it features Forte07, who's played the game for like eight hours or something, and she was like, "I'm not ready for this," and we're like, "It'll be fine." <laughs> And it, it was, it was, and it was okay. fine. I yeah. mean, it was sub 105, and you know, there's a lot of crap that gets thrown at you in four player. Holy crap! So. <laughs> also, I just got a notification that Aquas has followed me on Twitter. Nice. I should probably actually. Did you tweet about this thing going on right now? This stream? Uh, about it. yes. Yeah, I did a couple times. Once before I left Minnesota, and then like right before I started. Oh, sugar. Wait, so am I not following you correctly or something? I don't know, I don't know man. I thought I was following quests for some of my warriors. Weapon max. Battery here. I'm going to take Sam's coward stress for these boxes, I think. I don't know why this didn't appear on my... Like, I'm using the Twitter app for Windows 10, and I don't... Battery over here. What is this nonsense? Maybe it just hasn't caught up yet. I see it on the web interface, so yep, I'm retweeting that now. Oh, 
See, I wish I could have sold yeah, that card. Us. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's more fun. I, he probably. I'm, I'm still thinking he's gone. Because, I mean, the only opportunity for it to get red would have been like Revolution, and it's not like he's typed down to it yet. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. I forget I forget if I gave time to read during the heat. But Transit I was almost definitely talking to the whole thing, and I just think he's checking on it. Uh, yeah, shout out to Aquas, by the way, because he <laughs> took interest in this game and overheard us practicing it in commentary. And also, the first thing he said when he overheard us and was, you know, like he was. So we were in this private PC practice room that has two machines that are facing each other. Um, so he's on one side of the room and we're on the other. And the first thing he says eventually is, Are you guys running next Machina? <laughs> 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 Which is hilarious because I know that oh, yeah. S. Mishra has like a lot of respect for Housemark and King Jarvis and, and, you know, that those games that they've made in general. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, of course, Next Machina is a bit too new of a game to be run at SGDQ because it only came out like 15 days before the event, not even. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that was fun. And then he came over and was actually like, you know, intently watching and asking questions. And I feel really bad because uh, one thing that I was going to point out based on one of the things he asked was how long power-ups last and how they stack. And I totally didn't get around to talking about that. I actually got around to talking about power-ups late to begin with. I normally, I normally discuss them in the first zone, but I got some time so I'm too long. So, I'm sorry, Aquas, I failed. Uh, despite all of your useful questions that kind of, you know, gave potential talking points. But yeah, that was really cool. Ghost King says he's thinking of picking up this game at some point. Nice. He likes to take six years. Also, uh, I, I think I briefly mentioned this to Sam and Bond on the Discord, uh, on, on our Discord group. But uh, I ended up uh, on the same bus as Duckfist going back to the airport, which is really funny because, like, the bus had been getting there, like, several minutes early. Like, it was there at, like, 45. What they had been telling people at the event check-in was that it was arriving on the hour. So I was like, you know, people are expecting this to arrive on the hour. That's what they're being told, so you might want to wait. So they actually did wait, and right as the hour came around, Duck just gets on board. <laughs> nice. And, uh, and so I end up talking with him. He, he, uh, he's been gushing about, uh, uh, what is it, dead cells? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which, yeah, I know a couple of people in the Cactus Discord have been going with the, uh, going on about that also. Not so much, not as much as Hollow Knight, though. Shoutouts to the Cactus Discord basically becoming a Hollow Knight Discord while we were busy at GDQ. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so he, uh, he was talking a lot about Dead Cells, which I reckon I'll have to try at some point. He, the first thing he likened it to is World Legacy, which I have played about half of. Um, so I could definitely appreciate something like that. Um, I will probably also definitely be bad at it, but you know, but, um, but then I, I talked a little bit about Cactus, and he said yeah, he's he's played like Smash TV back on like NES for like so now you may have played Super Smash TV on Super NES where you have the A, B, X, Y buttons as the like shooting directions basically, but on NES you only have two buttons, so you basically have shoot and like like lock or straight that keeps you shooting in the direction that you last aimed in, oh, despite right. moving wherever. Damn. But you can also apparently play it with two controllers for one player and use the D-pads. So it basically is the NES, the closest thing on the NES to a 26 shooter. Um, so Duckfist sounds like he might be interested in this. It would be awesome if we see uh, a couple of more well-known runners play this. Also, Zaki the Goat Dragon, or actually, wait, no. Now he's Zaki the, the Hybrid Dragon or something? Oh. Well, Zaki the Hybrid is his, like, Twitter name. Oh, okay. I think he, yeah, he's Zaki the Dragon Wolf Discord now, but I should probably just start calling him Zaki the Hybrid because that way, you know, it's universal. Um, he, he's still planning to play this at some point. Like, he bought the game, he just hasn't gotten to play it yet, and I think he has to reevaluate his streaming schedule now, actually, because there's too much stuff going on. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's, we, we should be able, we should be looking forward to a few more cactus streams from more people, which would be great. Um, I still don't trust myself to be not <laughs> I don't know how many of those streams will be mine, but... 
pretty out of practice, I'd be pretty terrible before. Holy hell. Also, it occurs to me- oh right, no, I didn't- so I didn't time Cactus and I just looked at the- I, I ran Cactus and Spectre of Torment during my stream today. That's a fucking and, great uh, my zone Spectre of Torment ended really badly. I got- I was one hit away on Enchantress, and then I just like knocked into her instead and had to redo the whole fight, which was Oh, that's unfortunate. And, and then I got- I got dunked once during the Reese fight. Actually, the Reese fight, I- the, the final fight, I never- had... I've never died just due to damage. I've come very close. My current PD, which is death piece, I was down to one health. Uh, but I somehow managed to pull through. But uh, nope, I actually died just from taking some hits. Because on the last two battles, pretty much any hit you take is a full health of damage. So I still need to, like, I've gotten to the point where I... What, what's going on? Sorry, with sorry, sorry. That was a really good justice. I regained like 32 on zone oh, three. Oh, okay. No, I wasn't sure if that was like a painful lap or a good No, lap. that was okay. amazing. Oh, uh, what's it? 50 seconds? Is that what I saw? We, nice. We back in it somehow. I don't understand. <laughs> See, all right. So here, uh, toxic SPDQ Twitch chat. Here's the thing. <laughs> When I talk and forget to breathe, Bond does well. So Apparently, let me get Jesus. drunk and shut up and keep your complaints to yourself. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but it's like, here I'm just going rambling on like a tank while he's running. All of a sudden, you just stop to come back. Um, but now it's Blue Toaster Dog territory, so... Uh, yeah, this is going to go downhill real quick, I think. <laughs> Zone 4 is always the bitch. It's like, Zone 1, okay. Zone 2, okay. Zone 3, alright. Zone 4, fuck off. I guess <laughs> yeah, that's when the blue toaster- it's all about the blue toaster dogs. Yeah, blue toaster dogs, the fucking just mines dropping everywhere. Mine tanks. Yeah, here, here on repeater. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I had a kind of rubber, slightly over 54 minute expected moment today. I need to get better with the last two fights, because I, like, I remember being really bad and inconsistent on the shield knife fight in the middle of it, and now I can... I, I, I don't think I've died there in a while. I mean, now I'm putting the lamp on myself, but... I can only hope that I get back to the last fights in the game, because that's really the problem. <laughs> Oh man, did you see this Victor run? I, I saw the like the last like three minutes of it. Oh, uh, well then you probably saw the insane save oh. in the block room on the last level. Because uh, Muncha almost screwed up at the last minute, but he managed to do a bunch of uh, Judgment Rush cancels oh, nice. to get over to the right wall and climb back up. And then use another Judgment Rush cancel to get more climb. <laughs> and, sur and survive that room. That was like the most hyped part of the run. It was like, he actually did a really bad thing and actually managed to survive it. <laughs> and he came out with like a 55.0 something, which is like a minute off his PB, which seems pretty dang good for Marathon. Ooh, that's dangerous. <laughs> Mostly one on, on Twitch I think I saw like one new yeah, it was like three days after the, the cactus run or two days after so I was like, okay that seems random but I guess I'll take it. I figured they'll um, trickle in a little bit as people watch the recording or something. Yeah. I mean that's why I spelled out my name, I was like, this is the end. like I'm I'm the more I go to GDQs and shit, the more I realize I might just have to change it. Because like <laughs> Nobody knows how to pronounce it. Nobody remembers what the hell it is. Dime still doesn't know how to pronounce it, even though I told him at least once. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, some people remember it, though, because, like, Enchantress of Numbers has no problem remembering it. Um, I mean, once you get it, it's about, you know, it's probably not going to forget. Yeah. Well, Dime probably just has way too many things to do with the events anyway. I remember one random dude saying, aw, but <laughs> I should really force him to burn it though, because he actually borrowed my uh, badge for uh, saying goodbyes because he left his check down. So uh, yeah, if you saw if you saw a at the event at somewhere around, I don't know, 3 or 4 p.m. local time on Saturday, and you thought to yourself, I think Kenny just gained like half a foot in a very short time span. <laughs> yeah, that was one. Um, and then I lost the half a foot like five minutes later. It's a weird diet you're on. <laughs> but yeah, so let's see. Um, I managed to hook Captain Clever up with food when he said he hadn't eaten in 24 hours. And I let Dime say goodbyes by lemon him my back. Man, that's, they owe you. That, that's that's my contributions. Uh, okay, oh yeah, assembly. I guess I talked about the really? Captain Clever thing earlier when Sam was in the voice chat on my stream. Uh, but basically, I was uh, I ended up sitting next to Don, and then after we came out of there, Captain Clever approached us and said something about not eating in 24 hours. And then, like, five minutes later, I run into Edo Bean, who has pizza and offers me pizza, and I'm like, uh, I'll pass, but I know somebody who could really use that. <laughs> so I pinch him on Dime's Discord. <laughs> he managed, I managed to find him again. <laughs> so Captain Clever didn't die. That's good. Which is, which is good, because, you know, he kind of had a run right before you saw it on Thursday morning at Photo Flop. I had trouble following that run, but it's partially because I just, like, wasn't awake at the time, but I managed to be awake and conscious through the uh, the toll, the uh, East Origin toll we had seventy percent run. I was actually kind of worried I would end up yawning next to the couch, but I was fine because I wasn't like that. They already had a full card for that. It worked pretty well. What what didn't work well, unfortunately, was the uh, was Ian from Yacht Club Games during the. Uh, Spectre of Torment run. Oh yeah, that was a little disappointing that they couldn't get him for more than like a couple minutes. I mean, what's also disappointing is they used Skype. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. like there's this thing called Discord. Perhaps you've heard of it. You know, it's not like we're using it for the event or anything. Like, I wonder if that would have worked any better if it, or if it was just really like you know, he's like, you know, lives in a village in the middle of nowhere with nothing but sheep, like the spot does or something. I think that was a spot story. I, I, I but yeah, I'm assuming that we got mostly maybe West Coasters and then like Europeans and people in Asia and Australia and stuff with the uh, with the cactus stream given the time. But... Oh, it was what, something like 75 to 77,000 in the, yeah, on the view was, count? Which is significantly less than was there for the run, which I'm a little, you know, sad about, but that's still a lot of people. That is a lot of people. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if we did uh, see sales after that. Because, I mean, like, it was on sale. We, we mentioned, made sure to mention that. I wonder if they actually can have numbers on, like, how many people download the demo we to even see that much. I would guess so. From what I understand, Steam is pretty good at giving you that kind of info. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. I just now seem to be playing the computer, so I didn't know why that was Uh, there was a laser there. Uh, okay, we're running under mines and away from mine. Yeah, that's, that, that was the real bad part. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> Mine fits, sir. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess I didn't get a chance to talk about how mines. If you if you walk right up to Bomber Titans, they'll pop the mines right over your head. And I I was sort of 50 50 on fitting that little trivia. Battery over here. Firepower extended. Yeah, it was. I, I think Aquas, uh, you know, 
listening in and asking questions and being invested in that. And then asking us to all to sign his shirts even more. <laughs> that was fun. That was I fun. think that was, that was amazing. And like, I feel bad that I'm not more familiar with all of the stuff that Octopus is involved in. I know I've seen the name many times. And hey, maybe he does an STG uh, podcast about factors somewhere. That would be great. <laughs> Saxon with us at the event also. Yep, moral, moral support on the couch. Worked out yeah, really and well. Then they just, and then they just like randomly disappeared for the rest of the week. <laughs> but they seem to they seem to know other people in the community. Oh yeah, so. yeah. I'm Sky like, okay, I don't know where they got those connections. <laughs> but I don't know these people that well. I didn't even hang. Okay, so there were a couple of things I missed out on. I didn't really hang with Thermalix at all this time, uh, which like that that was my thing at AGDQ as I hung out with Thermalix and to some extent Edobeam uh, by extension a few times during that uh, and got to go out with them after the Mega Man X block, uh, Mega Man X race at HDQ. Um, but this time obviously I was hanging out mostly with uh, Sam and Bond and Forte and folks like that. Um, but uh, and yeah shout out to Forte for giving Sam coffee and making sure he <laughs> like literally died during the actual uh, run. Oh, I can never tell what the spacing is on Venom's little side things are. What's that, the two turrets fire? Or yeah, the, the little rails along the side on phase two, three. Like the ones that does the rapid Four. fire. Four, maybe? I don't know. Spindly Doodle is three. I I'm bad at this game, so I don't know the phases. <laughs> I mean, oh, there's three, there. and then there's three intensified versions of the first three, and then there's... Oh, five. shit. Oh, Spindly Doodle. All right. Uh, I guess it calls Butthead, but I don't know. Then in this kind of Butthead. Ah, I, wish dang I, it. I wish I realized that one. For the, uh, oh no, yeah, I just saw what the awe was about. It's yeah. The bullets. Oh, please, thank you. It's the knockdown diet. Uh, wow, that was scary. <laughs> you were really playing chicken with that one bug that was coming up behind. Yeah. I just said, fuck it, I'm losing bunches of... I lost, like, eight seconds on Zone 4, losing the rest of my lead on Venom. What would have been even funnier is if the bug did explode on you, but it also killed that phase. Because, I mean, that should be theoretically possible because it's red damage. Oh, that's bad. Oh, damn it. We're only at the beginning of this level. I'm kind of weird. I know. That's that's actually okay to take it down there. Oh, okay. Oh man, yeah. that's so dumb. Lost the pinata, man. I. So I remember there being issues originally about like enemies getting stuck outside the arena in this level. Uh, it still and happens I, sometimes. I was gonna say because I got very close, if not actually getting that to happen with Titans, I think twice today. And I was testing my audio levels for the stream and tested with this level once before, and one was pretty much just like hanging out at the right corner and never coming in. And then I think it kind of maybe sort of happened again while I was actually running. Yeah, I have bad luck with shutdowns, kind of pinning them right inside the doors. It's like, come on, man. I had a pretty good centrifuge until that point. Also, uh, OBS still confuses me with the apparent necessity of, like, adding separate audio sources now. Like, that used to huh? not be a thing. Huh. That used to, used to just automatically be, like, desktop and mic inputs into this. 
on the, like, towards the right-hand side of the VR Studio, but now if I create a new scene, there is, like, nothing over there, and I actually have to add audio output capture and audio input capture, which is super annoying to have to get, redo every damn time. Doggo, please. And I don't know if I'm missing something or if that's seriously by design. That's a almost two hour investment. Did you pick up any hot tips from the run? Uh well I did talk to Ghost King and maybe someone else about how I was there's two ways to skip one of the bosses. But actually <laughs> what's funny is Ghost King is actually having tremendous trouble and no success. Uh, skipping that boss during his practice and it's actually wrong also. Um, granted, I think he normally skips it using fire magic, which you don't get yet, because it's possible to skip it. Um, but he was, so the only way to skip it otherwise is with Godspeed, the wind magic. And there wasn't any like with that. But actually, someone in the, it might have been someone in the, uh, community, it might have been Giannis. Uh, suggesting that I just try using Godspeed to skip it instead, because I've been having zero success trying to skip it with, uh, with the fire magic. I don't know. But, I don't know. <laughs> based on, based on Ghost King's success rate, I'm not sure that I trust myself to do it with Godspeed. But, uh, <laughs> the problem is that the lineup to do it is really, like, the place where you line yourself up is ridiculously close to the entrance to the room, so you could end up wasting time. By accidentally going out and having to do the barrier skips again. And I mean, the boss isn't that hard, so it's okay to just fight it. It's just that, yeah, if we're talking optimal, you're gonna waste it. Probably. Yeah, that's the but there's a lot of crap that can so, and, and I'd have to make sure I actually remember all of the different approaches that I have for the different doors and stuff, because doors are a suggestion. Just I think Sam was saying he's interested in maybe running the resort at some point too. So he'll probably, oh. beat, he'll probably beat the crap out of my time. No, he's got to take world record in Wendy or whatever it is first. Well, except that he still couldn't find that. I mean, I don't know. Is that one of those games where I'm related to Cloud, or is that one where you need to be okay? I don't know. He was... I guess, no, I guess he had submitted things for it before, I guess. So. Yeah, he was playing in the practice room for a couple days. That was shit control. Oh, that might have been... Did somebody have, like, an Everdrive or something there that he uh, was able to play it on? Or uh, no, it was on one of the PCs. Or not the practice room, uh, the land room. Oh, oh, and that's what he wanted to control. Yeah, I think. Which I totally missed the board on that because like, I think I went to sleep. <laughs> uh, that might have been the night that uh, I, wa I wanted to be up early for Ghost King's, uh, well, Captain Clever and Ghost King and Octus. Which I do need to go back and watch Octus as fun so that I can actually see the whole thing. Because I ended up talking to Ghost King after this one. I mean, which was really cool. And then, of course, there was the. <laughs> If you want to make an awkward highlight reel, which I know people object to because it perpetuates the whole, you know, stereotype of the mode of these events. But, like, the, the standout awkward moment for me was Ghost King, like, raised one of his hands, and it was to give me a hug. <laughs> but I'm like, is he trying to give me a high five? I have no idea what's going on. Oh, yeah, I think I was around for that, actually. Is that well, outside yeah, it somewhere? Was, it was right before we did the uh, Trouble Night co-op, I played. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, I'm really glad that he came in there to say goodbye, because, yeah, I totally would have missed him later, because, geez, our run took almost till 4 o'clock or something, which is probably when he had to leave. Yeah, I 
did a tweet storm earlier to try to shout out everybody who went out there. And it was really nice that those came to allow me to next to uh next to the match for that. And yeah, I actually so like Spooty said he hasn't run Spooty was the one doing the majority of the commentary on his origin. And he said he hasn't run the game in like four years. But okay, first of all, his time on the speedrun.com leaderboards says two years ago, not four, so he may be exaggerating. Um, but like supposedly a lot of the skips were discovered after he ran it. Interesting. But also, he's got the number four time, even despite supposedly running before a bunch of the skips were discovered. So like I should try to beat his time if I wanna like be good at the game. His time is like 137 or something for, for non-EMs, for just regular pole. I don't think I would ever do EMs. Or at least I wouldn't until I felt overwhelmingly comfortable with regular pole. Um, because not having Inferno Magic makes something like... Or you just use a backup strategy that takes you know, Um Possibly the worst thing with it is the Kishgal fight, which is like the third or fourth to last boss. I can't remember. Oh my god, we're bringing it back in zone 5. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> hey Shane, how you doing? Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Our run was great. Yo! Yes, yeah. how, much, how, how much sleep do you think you got over the course of the entire week? Um, I got a lot more as soon as I wasn't sharing a bed with somebody. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, that's fair. I don't have that excuse. Right. I was in a room. I was in a silver room anyway. Um, but yeah, I like huh. first night I got like well, okay, I eventually slept at like six AM to eight AM after the night this morning. But like I wanted to take a nap before it. I might have slept for thirty minutes at most. Uh then the cactus run happened. And unlike certain other scrubs whose names start with S and end with M. Uh, or start with tea, I guess, if we're being technical. Right, 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 right. Uh, I did not eat coffee. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I really didn't sleep from, like, 4 a.m. Central the previous day. Well, yeah, technically the previous day until, like, 6 a.m. With the exception of, like, a half hour at most. Uh, then I slept a couple hours. Ooh. Then I got woken up by housekeeping. <laughs> at roughly 8.30. Ooh, so fun, oh, fun sorry, fact sorry. about the... Oh, it's liquid time. I'll shut up for a minute. Until liquid is over. Uh, need to get the squawks in. No! No, you bitch! Ah! <laughs> tried to flame her before she could grab that battery. It didn't work. Oh, please. No. Please go away. Please. Yeah, actually doing this with Cactus, I would think it's one of the rough There we go. Okay. It's just very poorly yes, timed. Because I knew the battery the... was coming, but uh, couldn't get over to it quickly enough. You don't have very you don't have a very safe place Woo! to be in Alright, alright, that's better. Ah, oh, she knocked me. Bitch. Come here, come here. Yeah, come get some. Come get some. Yeah, oh, that's too bad. It's too bad. I do have the actual stream audio on very quietly so that I can at least oh. line things up when I want to. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I just saw the aw, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, wow, she she got a battery out of me, but I'm not quite in the red yet. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I've got a I've got a second and a half to play with here for Medulla and Aether Sphere. Oh, okay, <sighs> serious time continues. Yeah, boy. Cannot wait. Serious time continues, then when we're back to fighting doormats, then I'll talk about the hotel a bit. I don't really have any particularly interesting stories about it. Some people apparently do. Actually, I'm going to go check my credit card and see if I do have more egregious stories. Hang on. <laughs> Since that was a thing that happened to some people. Eat shit, Embryo refight. Yeah. Real good. Yeah, so with all the weird things that they did with charges and stuff, I don't actually have a single charge from the hotel right now. 
Interesting. So I'm wondering when that's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, they placed holds on, you know, like, they, they, there were definitely pending charges while I was there, and that's when I went to the front desk and asked them about it. And it was basically just the, uh, the first five days, and then a separate charge for the sixth day. The first five nights, the sixth day. But it came out to more than it should have, but it was also partially destroyed like, incidentals, which would be taken off. And that's, like, when I saw the bill, the bill is basically what I expected, so I was fine with it. Oh my god. Also, I'm pretty sure I have some duplicate pending charges for two deals, but right now, I will see what happens with that. But, you know, getting double charged for a burrito ball is not the end of the world. Don't distract me. Wow, eat shit, Medulla. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, my, my Aether Sphere split's totally fucked, because I should... I should be on PV pace, but I'm not now. Oh, I thought you were saying your split was, like... late, not early. My goodness. Oh please, no, please, go away. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, oh you did the spin the you, you did the spin the win thing that Sam was doing with lemon, except that when Sam did it as lemon it was just super annoying because there was really too much spam on the screen to know what the hell was going on. Yeah, exactly right. Wow. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I gotta fix my Aether Sphere split though, because that made me excited near the end, but couldn't yeah, do that it. doesn't make sense if you were ahead by six and then suddenly behind by like half a minute. Yeah, I gotta work that out at some point. That's, defi hey. that's definitely wrong. Like, I think it, if it, in co op it's possible to have basically half an Aether Sphere battery left, but uh, in single player, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, I think maybe you might my be able to have like off. 15 to 20 seconds left of it. That was a pretty good medulla though. Like, Vespi refight didn't dunk me, I didn't get zapped by Justice refight. <laughs> no stupid laser snipes on final phase. <laughs> oh, it's the laser! Yeah, it's the fucking laser, <laughs> my god. Ah, that was so dumb. Alright, not bad though, not bad. I wasn't expecting PV, because that would have been kind of silly. Well, but I mean, is this technically PV though? No, no it's not. And the split is just wrong, the, or...? The, the split is incorrect, but... It's not PB. My PB is 4907 okay. from the relay. Uh, but I mean, like, yeah, there's definitely something wrong because you can't go from minus six to plus double digits on, on Ether Sphere. <laughs> yeah, Ether no Sphere. That's not possible without failing the entire fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look at it because that's that's annoying me again. But being like 30 seconds or less off PB is not bad. All right, let's do Aubergine, since she was the other one that should have happened, but did not at SGDQ. Yep. Let's see, what do I got? A 50-11? Shit, I'm almost sub-50 with Aubergine. That's crazy. Crazy. But then Caduceon took uh, world record for Aubergine with, the, like, a 49... Huh. 49-30-something yeah, or whatever. Yeah, seems to know what he's doing, too. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm surprised I had it as long as I did, so... Whatever. All right, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So yeah, the thing about housekeeping at the hotel uh, is that it it's apparently staffed by plumbers because it can come any time between eight in the morning and three in the afternoon. <laughs> So, first morning, it came at 8.30. Second day, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to account for that. And then it didn't come to like 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, the rest of the days, it came usually somewhere between 10 and 11, something like that. So it might have actually normalized, or it might have just been lucky to draw. But I was usually awake by the time it came anyway. Uh, cause I was actually just gonna like, put the do not disturb sign up, and I did. 
but it, it ended up dipping after it, after I woke up and said anyway. Yeah, we forgot to do the do not disturb thing the first night, so they knocked on our door like nine ish. Yeah. It was like fuck, we're not forgetting that again. Well, the other thing is, according to Ten Machi, some of at least some of the crew just kind of like ignores the do not disturb sign and knocks anyway. Oh, so. nice. How I'm good. pretty sure they actually did respect my do not disturb sign at one point because I think they did pass by my room, but then another one of them happened to be around later and saw me come out and was like, oh, hey, man, you want housekeeping? I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be out. It's like, all right, cool. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, the first morning I actually, like, had, I bolted my door, which I'm glad I did because, like, I was in the shower when they actually knocked on the door. <laughs> yeah, they were all over the place. One time I went back just to either drop something the off. The restaurant was definitely not well stamped for how many people would be there every day. Fortunately, oh, yeah. well, okay, so first of all, thank you, Mr. Bond, for, you know, basically taking me out to dinner. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I guess that was, was that, the, that was the night before the cash was in Uh, either the night before or the night after, I remember. One of those. Um, but I don't think I ever... Actually, I think that was the only time I ate at the restaurant there, um, because there's this place called Bruger, Bruger's Bagels. They, they they tout being New York style bagels. However, there's not a single fucking one of them anywhere near me in New York State. <laughs> so good job, guys. We will never know whether they are truly New York style bagels. Um, but they were really good though, and uh, we went there almost every morning or early afternoon. Um, there was a Chipotle nearby, uh, in the Skyway, there was a Qdoba a little bit further out. So I finally tried Qdoba, because, like, there are some people who swear that Qdoba is better. I'm like, eh, they have queso, you know, like, they have cheese sauce, which is a unique thing that, in terms of Chipotle not having that. But other than that, yeah. oh, they also have, they also have things with shrimp in it, which is interesting. So I did that once. But, like, other than that... I'll take Chipotle any day, and I might honestly take Chipotle over Qdoba. I think I think Chipotle's uh, tortilla chips are better. Um, Qdoba's were very obviously bad for me in that the bag was uh, as most than some of the juice from it, very visibly, and I think I, I, I kind of like the taste of Chipotle's better. Um, so Chipotle wins on tortilla chips, might or might not win on just burrito bowls in general. I can't judge the burrito because I didn't have a burrito with keto, but I prefer bowls. They are clean. It must have been a nuclear disaster area. I don't know. Although, I... Sam was making a big deal about Chipotle not knowing how to fold burritos or something, <laughs> I think. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I never quite caught, like, what his deal was with that. Yeah, he tried to explain it in words, but trying to explain how to fold a burrito in words is probably not very, you know, good. Yeah. Um, I don't know, yeah, I think they taste that, the same. There was a really good pizza place called Pizza Luce, a few blocks from the hotel. Um, they were really good at, like, splitting checks and stuff, too. Um, <laughs> I, did, did you and... Did, did you know if Sam ended up going back here again after I left? I don't Did think guys, so. No. We what went did you end to up doing, like yesterday. We went to Brit's pub yesterday. That was delicious. Oh, okay. Because no, like... the funny thing is, like Sam was there twice. Uh, actually, all you know, Sam was there three times. I was there. Twice. And but but he got he ate pizza there twice, and I ate there I ate pizza there once, and none of those times did we eat pizza with actual tomato sauce. Because the first time Sam had like a mushroom pizza or something, we split it with somebody. Um, and then, uh, I wanted to try the baked potato pizza, so that also did not have sauce, but it was really good. Uh, and then we had, I think, three of, three of the four of us who went the third time that Sam went, got the, uh, Gouda mac and cheese, which was also pretty good. I think you, me, and Sam got that. Yeah, and I think, yeah. um, I, I think, uh, Phil, or Forte, or Seven got the thing you had gotten the previous time? Yeah, the Masta Choli. It was all really good. I mean, yeah. they, they had stuff really good there, not just the pizza. And they handled, you know, the bills very well also. So definitely huge shout-outs to Pizza Blue Jay. And they're actually open late, unlike 
ninety percent <laughs> of the things in, in downtown Minneapolis. What you know, Q Reggie, what's wrong with you? Because like, what's wrong? With you? Really, it's like they don't want our money or something. We're gonna have this huge freaking event there. There's gonna be sixteen hundred plus people in the area, but. Most of the crap in the Skyway is completely shut down on weekends and normally closes at 5 p.m. Good talk, dudes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Pixel Luther was kind of a favorite spot because it was actually open late, although from what a few people in the attendee Discord channel said, you don't want to be there really late because it's just a bunch of dumps. Uh, damn it. What happened? We're fighting I, Embryo. I don't want to hear that during Embryo. I got dunked on Embryo with like two pips of health left on him. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, the worst yeah, possible time. It. Fuck. Oh, that was in phase six. Okay, shit. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So, of course, Hilo comes too. all the way back. I was thinking phase three because I just saw the missiles. But, uh, yeah, so, you know. There are some cool things in the downtown area and stuff, and obviously if you want to travel around, there's the mall thing and whatnot, which sounds like, big whoop, it's a mall, and I'm like, yeah, I have Roosevelt Field near me, I'm not really going to go out of my way to see another mall. But, uh, also there's, like, I guess the studio that Prince did a lot of his recording at on 1st Street, oh, 1st Avenue, I forget whether it's avenues or streets. Um, because the guy who was, uh, driving our bus back to the airport was, uh, talking about that at once. Shout out to that guy, I don't know his name, but he was trying to be, you know, cordial and uh, entertaining. But then, you know, then Duck just boarded and I talked to him the entire time, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know, like, some of the GDQ staff even had problems with, like, these weird charges they couldn't comprehend being put on their cards at the hotel. People were not happy with that. Also, apparently, noise depends on the because basically they didn't like, they weren't able to block off specific like large chunks of rooms for the event, I guess. So I guess people, some people got noise complaints from other guests. I mean, like, I'm gonna be fair though. Like, if I like, I think obviously people had a beef with noise, but. I think the bigger beef is with the freaking paper thin lack of soundproofing at the hotel. Yeah, that confuses because, me. Because like, I mean, I guess the walls might have been better, but like the doors, forget about it. Which I guess is always kind of a problem. Also, I'm from New York, so I guess I should have said forget about uh, it, but I can't really do that. I don't have that accent. But anyway, um, but yeah, like I was halfway down the hall, so, so like. The floors are organized where there's sort of these diagonal offshoots off of the square hallway around it. And the thing closest to me in the hallway is like halfway down one of these where the size of the square is the ice machine, which anytime somebody came to get ice, I heard that very clearly. And also I was like halfway down the hall from the elevator, which anytime people got off the elevators, I heard people loud. Which I think was more of a problem the first night than anything else, so it could have been totally not to do related things. But like, I could definitely see. Like, I couldn't really. There was nothing for me to complain about because it wasn't coming from rooms, it was coming from the hallway. <laughs> so. But like, I could definitely see where, like, I know some people like to have parties in their rooms, and like, I could see where that can get to be a problem to the point where people would complain. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure we however, have. However, I know in some cases, just like they were just talking about. I'm pretty sure we had one of those right next to us, like, for the first half of the, the week. What? Maybe not a party room, but people were being fucking obnoxious. Oh, okay. So they got noise complaint from us twice. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, I think, uh... I'm looking at uh, one of Sam's roommates was saying something about, like, there were some people that might have actually, like, gotten to the point of one more warning and get kicked out. Because they heard them saying that it, something about that in the elevator or something. Oof. But like, yeah, I that's uh, that's always a risk. I fortunately haven't had a problem so far at these events. But yeah, that I would not be cool with that. Like, I do need to actually sleep, and it's already hard enough for me to sleep at hotels in general. Yeah. And of course, then there's also things going on, and I happen to always like I happen to be up in time to watch Bowie's run. So I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna get up and go down and watch Bowie's run if only with the Warlords, which was actually a really good run and is totally worth watching for Bowie's voice acting alone. 
so you should definitely watch that too. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching I'm, pretty much I'm talking everything else. Here. Um, oh, that was bad. So that was, I think, like Wednesday morning, and then Thursday morning had Captain Clever plus Ghost King plus um, Octus after that, which I have to go watch Octus this morning because I was talking to Ghost King after, after his. But it was really cool getting to, getting to talk to Ghost King. And, I mean, also, he was really, he, he was in my chat for like half of my run that's current in my TV on the keyboard. So, I mean, like, it was really cool about that. But yeah, there were basically three mornings that I was just up at 4 o'clock watching runs. Saturday, I finally managed to get like a solid block of six hours of sleep or something, but... I felt like a zombie by then anyway, because it was just catching up to me, and I'm still kind of a zombie now. So, uh, who actually did the driving? Uh, I did. Uh, oh, okay. uh, we were originally going to carpool, but we had to take two cars anyways because of the amount of supplies we had. <laughs> Jeez. So, it really wasn't carpooling. It was me, and then them. <laughs> I, I still maintain that, like, one of those cars was just completely filled with cookies. Yeah, well, he had many bags. <laughs> many, many bags. They like, weren't bags, they were freaking Tupperware containers. Oh, uh, we had Tupperware <laughs> containers on the side, too, yeah, absolutely. Wait, were the bags bigger right now? So the bags were filled with cookies, and then he used the Tupperware containers to kind of hand them out, so... Oh, okay. There's like 19 dozen or something. It was a ridiculous amount. And they're large cookies. Yeah, you know, quite I large. I only had I only had some of the mint ones the first night or something. Uh, and yeah, the mint ones were good. I can definitely vouch for that. <laughs> I I never caught him handing out cookies after that, and I didn't think about it at all. So yeah, he was handing them out to people as we were leaving. I could meet people in the hallway. Hey, you want some cookies? Yeah, here, take them. <laughs> I mean, like, I saw a Tormod and Saxon hanging out in the main room on the floor for a good half hour plus, because, like, apparently a bunch of people, including, like, a bunch of Skyballs, were, like, gonna go do, like, mini golf or something, I think? Yeah, yeah. They did that yesterday. And, uh, but, yeah, like, they were still waiting on people to, to show up so they could all go together, I guess. But I also saw them, they were talking to a couple people, it sounded like they were from Canada, that also do a bunch of arcade stuff. I don't know if they were. But, uh, I, I, I heard, I, I swear I heard Tormod or Saxon express some kind of interest in getting a TV in so, uh, Which, uh, or, or at least like they were talking about like the expense of what it would, what it would be to say, to say it out, which is... I don't know, at least $500, I think, was the rough estimate. TVM1, at least, I think. I forget, I think 3 might be the hardest one to come by. I don't know anything about the official games. Oh god, no, it's phase 2 again. Oh, Vespula, fuck off. Um, yep, that, that's phase 3 again. I somehow... Oh, you, you basically got Steam on there. I somehow narrowly avoided taking them down in phase 3 in my run before with Stud. Also, I have no idea what kind of time I got, but it was probably nowhere even close to getting Oh my goodness, that was super dumb, but it worked. Oh, yeah, yeah, what? Oh, I have please kill her, please kill her. Ah, oh, damn it. I have questions about that phase five. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> I shouldn't have done any okay. of that. I don't know. Well, my biggest question is how did you survive it? I don't know. <laughs> and of course, it I take like a. like you got buried in wasps for a good amount of time. Now. And I take a stupid down right at the end, like I did on Embryo. So you know, par for the course. I generally need to learn how to optimize my use of sub weapons with these characters to be able to all the things you can And like the rush really. Weapon back. Shut down. Fire power extended. I am still.
still not convinced that they actually need to Speaking of bombs, we're entering the hallway with bombs. That's a long hallway. Filled with bombs. Oh, oh, oh dear. And this one is get to the end. You get bomb on Titans. You shoot more bombs. Oh my, it's like a stack. I did remember the Titans though. So, that's something. Yeah, okay, so the actual events that it portrayed. Oh no, the movie is actually 2000. Wow, I thought oh, it was really? over. Wow. But yeah, I'm. I have a bad sense of time right now. Of course it had to be that way, because, like. You know. Until Washington was in there, so. Um. But yeah, the actual events portrayed in the end of the time is 1970. Swap through it either and just pop the black hole. So that's definitely a corner crate. Did we have a corner crate in the last run also? I wasn't. I believe so, yeah. The same corner. Uh, I don't think we had any surprise that's never happened before, please. Which I mean, I guess we can't have it. But that's never happened before now because it has happened before, but. I don't know. Have we gotten all like six crates <laughs> at some point? I don't know. I would guess so. Maybe we just never noticed the it. The corners are really the most common. I don't know if we've had the side ones today. I kind of forget what the other one is. This isn't a good run. Almost a minute behind. Just wait, you'll, you'll turn around. And... <laughs> so, maybe, maybe collider. It's usually where it tends to happen. Holy shit. Spike for Jesus is always watching. Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> oh nice. I'm actually got to hang out with PJ and Mega Rector today. Although, uh, 
I would care for much of this Nintendo Switch at this point because letting PJ anywhere close to your technology is not a good idea. Oh, what? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. DJ tweets. Heading out now from SGDQ27. Had a really great time despite the hotel's best efforts. <laughs> Huge thanks to all the supporters. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Crap. Got about that already. Well, if and when they get around to the patch, I hope they fucking increase the radius of uh, Aubergine's black hole. At least the well, damage from it. Oh. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, I just noticed, uh, so... I know, uh, you know, Spike had that uh, tweet about Hit me with your favorite lunch from Marathon, and Sam was like, Shameless plug for Assault Android Cactus. Bond replied, Shameless reply supporting the Shameless plug for Assault Android Cactus. And Ghost King replied, comment saying that Loki AAC was a surprisingly fun one. Don't <laughs> But wait, it was low key? <laughs> uh, I guess. I mean, I thought my commentary was kind of, you know, not low key. That was what people were complaining about or something. I don't, I don't understand. Slip around there. Yeah, zone three, not doing real good. Now, a full minute behind. Yeah, I'm not bringing this back. <laughs> Get lucky to get sub 52. Initiating containment protocol. Establishing defense perimeter. Oh, so you do actually interrupt the laser cycle you can single player here. I always let it play out because I don't want to have to deal with the other walls. Oh, oh, jeez. Alright. <laughs> oh. oh man, I just saw the. I don't know how that laser didn't hit you. Yeah, that, you that should have. Through that? I don't know. Split, damn it. I might have. Oh good, I fucking screwed up assembly already. Awesome. Platform? Yeah, yep. center platform. <laughs> oh, oh god, it's a joke platform. It's slightly less douchey, but... I don't know if we actually saw the joke platform. No, we didn't, because we did a good job of <laughs> not letting that happen. 
Oh, please, doggo. I mean, it might have been off to the side, I don't know, but like, yeah, it's easier to keep them around when there's more of you to stand on. Ah, oh. All right. Oh, good. We got the center back. because I was feeling really tired after checking out. But then she crashed in her room. I took her own advice. I fell asleep and didn't respond to anybody. Nice. So I was like, could I at least like recharge some things up there? But then I fortunately remembered that the lobby, like the actual main hotel lobby on the fifth floor actually has like charging things in the chairs. So that kind of kept my phone alive for a little bit longer. Discord, I think, needs phone batteries kind of a lot. <laughs> like, normally I can keep my phone on a single charge for, well, okay, to be fair though, I was also keeping my phone on 24-7, which I don't ordinarily do. Uh, Ooh. But uh, yeah, it oh, definitely it. felt like I was losing charge on it a lot faster. Great, now PJ's flight is delayed, naturally. Sure. <laughs> I mean, mine got delayed for 45 minutes, it's only fair. not regret leaving Saturday. I would not want to uh, basically have no time to work with you. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty busy trying to check out and shit. Oh, that, yeah, that's it. It was not busy at all. Which I was actually surprised about because I figured a bunch of people would be doing it. I mean, okay, there were about six people on the bus, I guess. Because we actually sat there and waited for a quarter of an hour. Also, uh, I forget how frequently the shuttle ran between the AGDQ hotel and airport. I want to think it was twice as often as the yesterday. Or from the airport. Yeah, I feel like the, the shuttle wasn't as big as the airport. Ah, oh, fuck. Firepower. Well, that would have been a good relay if I didn't get dunked by a... whatever those green factories are called. Orbitals? You, 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 tr you tried to run underneath an orbital factory. Yeah, I did. One I, does not simply run underneath. I, I thought I had enough time, but... That's just... that's just me, I guess. Oh, 
doggo, please. We tried to tried to keep the dream alive at first. And then first somebody score showed there. up with a really high score. Yeah, it's like 800,000 or something. Like what? Come on, man. What was that? It's so garbage. <laughs> Just ghosted in and out. Just to set that score. Play DDR at all? I know Sax is playing. No, DDR, I don't have the coordination for DDR. Not the right kind, at least. I played it once, but I couldn't figure out if it was supposed to be with Sax because it wasn't actually stock DDR. It was in the of it that had all the music. No, I did play that uh, Jew beat thing or whatever. Yeah. Once. I played that a couple times. I can I can do okay at like skill 5 to 6, which, by which I mean like mediocre, like. Somewhere between rank B and rank A, uh, but uh, I tried a skill seven song and that didn't go so well. Uh oh, I think I started at three, went up to five, and I was like, oh, all right, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm done. I, I basically the, the skill seven song that I did was basically the uh, the Ronald McDonald Commander Scarlet song. If you've ever seen that in the video. No, I haven't. I'll have to look that up. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's basically like. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, it's called Ronald McDonald Center. Seriously? But I, I, I searched for Ronald McDonald Flander and I found it that one. Oh, mine phase two. Alright, fuck off, please. Cool. Also, they had a different set list on uh, AGDQ. AGDQ had a bunch of stuff from like Steins Gate and uh, I think Tawaru Kardakin and Railgun. I saw at least one from Steinsgate on there. I don't know which one it was though. Wait, what? I saw one from Steinsgate on there, but oh really? Yeah. Maybe I I don't know if the machines differ from each other. I don't know if I tried both of them, but uh, maybe I just didn't look hard. Get your waifu on. Yeah, I mean, that's what I do when I play Teach Man, is put on a bunch of Toho Remixes. Or at least groups that are known to be Toho Remixes. Because the Lord knows I'm not gonna actually play like, Toho Remixes. Aw, come on. That would be very, very bad. So quickly. Well, I'm very slowly making this back, but I don't think I have enough zones and bosses to do it. I do vaguely remember seeing some kind of like almost action up PG Toho at one point, which I would be interested in playing. Ah, God damn it. But I don't really remember what it is or if there is a legitimate way to get it. Oh God. You have to start moving when the thing starts moving again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of forgot about that one. Aubergine messes with me so much, because I don't know how that stuff works. Especially on the oh deal, god. It's like, oh, it stopped moving. Now I don't know where the hell I want to... Yeah, it stops the spin of the lasers and the, the orbital bullet things.
please die. Please, thank you. Another five and a half there. I took a dumb down in phase one. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Hey, Restart, how you doing? Super <laughs> famous GDQ runner. No, you want a different channel, my friend. <laughs> this is definitely not me. <laughs> I was, I was, I did mention before though, Aquas actually did ask all three of us to sign up. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, Aquas was just really awesome in general. He was really interested in, uh, in this game. Uh, after initially misidentifying his next option. Ah, damn it. That was dumb. Why did I do that? Oh, yeah. To be fair, he meant getting mobbed by Kegs was going that up. Also thinks they can ruin your day. Yeah. One away mines, <laughs> and wasps. <wasps. laughs> especially where, especially where the mine tanks were involved. It's just like, oh, you thought you got all of the things out of the mine tank? No, here's one mine. Great for you. Here comes the mine. Here comes the laser. Ah! Oh, okay. All right, I got a little excited there. Still not, Don't worry about. Still not quite as cool. No, I thought that one was pretty close. I don't know, that was more like if Seinfeld tried to squawk us about what I was I don't know. Ooh, careful. Not a great centrifuge. Back up above a minute lost. Great, awesome, perfect. Walrus took it. Walrus is one of the Mega Man X guys. He took a picture of the hotel map that everybody has left. <laughs> but it's also a very awkward picture because there's like this pedestal or something right behind him, and the angle makes it look like it's sprouting from his head. Yeah, all its tables are gone and everything. It just seems kind of stable here for some reason. Man, I would be so... That's that's another reason to get at. Like, to not be super bummed out when you see how deserted the damn place is. <laughs> after after the event shuts down. That, that picture just makes you so sad. I was there, and there were a lot of people there. I mean, if there's any silver lining out of it, it's that there's no um, suspiciously overexcited board game people left either. 
Those people in their board games get really excited. They and, were really I pumped about something, yeah. Yeah, holy crap. Really, uh, I haven't gotten into board games too much, so I can't speak to that at all, and I shouldn't give them crap, because I've been into other things that they would probably be interested in. They were getting really excited, though. I mean, yeah. it didn't look there like they had. Loud, there were some loud cheers coming from the board meet. I'm like, the stream room's over there. That's where I expect the cheering to come from. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Also, I didn't know this was going to be on the Like, that I would expect people to, you know, yell at each other. Complete disaster of a control. Would you say you had control over? I I would say that, yeah. Mostly. Under control. So you should have used that one too. That would have made a lot of yeah. sense. I missed the obvious opportunity. But at least we got the justice one in there. I think that one went over really we well. Got, yeah, we got we got two pawns out of justice. One obviously over logic. So. Uh, and I snuck one in on a, on assembly with the test here to catch fighters. But people love the puns for some reason. <laughs> Even though they're terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm, for, I, I'm expecting that some of the other games have much stronger pun captures than, than uh, we did with Mario. Oh yeah, I'm not sure. Like, was it the Mario one where they were going on about potatoes or something? Yeah, I only got in there like halfway, and I was, or well, well, no, I was there for Mario, but I missed part of the run because I went to get food. Uh, you're talking about the Wii one? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that one they were going on about potatoes? I think oh, it was also that another potatoes. another one that was really strong on jokes and stuff was uh, Andy with Zelda. Oh yeah, I yeah. Because I only I I missed like the first ten minutes, and that's probably the most important part. <laughs> yeah, I, I cut in like 30 minutes through and I'm like, oh Jesus, he doesn't have a sword already. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck did he do that? Oh, maybe Restart is saying that the potato stuff might have actually been Zelda. Oh, okay. Well, either yeah, way. And Andy's, Andy's run, that, see, that was a run where that really worked. It was an interesting run, but they still managed to have a ton of fun and I was actually kind of surprised, but it was actually kind of good. Uh, now, Super Metroid, on the other hand, that is not a catch that I expect to just be like Mystery Science Theater 3000, and that's exactly what that felt like. And I was like, guys, this is the Metroid race. This is supposed to be the biggest deal of the entire marathon. Like, this doesn't feel like a race the way you guys are commentating. What the hell? What gives? Well, I can understand after two of them get dunked by Fantoon, but apparently up to that it wasn't no, that even, even No, even before that, they weren't commentating at other rates. Like, the one guy who was actually doing commentary was really low-key, and then, you know, Patty would just, you know, be his team that can sell most of the time. Like, you know, that's fine for certain types of runs, but not this one. I don't know why you're even on this couch, because you just keep joking about how you don't know the game, in which case, get off the fucking couch. Ugh. Actually, I shouldn't say so that, fun. because obviously we had people for moral support on our couch, but, you know, they didn't purposely go out of their way to talk about not knowing the game. They, you know, Saxon offered, you know, chimed in when he had his own, you know, experience based on his playing the game, which is fine. Oh my god. Ah! Ah. There's a squawk. There, are you happy? Reward. That was dumb. I don't like how that happened. <laughs> Come on. Fucking dunked. Ah. Uh. Shitting all week for that. 
<laughs> oh, that's a lot of lasers. Excuse me, pardon me. But yeah, so like, I was, I'm used to races of computers and very, like, excitable commentators that are really following along and really, you know, just the word I'm looking for. Like, very clearly and purposefully and, you know, sort of powerfully following the race with commentators. And that's not what was happening at all. Now, yes, obviously Fantoon dumped on them, which is a thing that apparently happens very often. Like, oh, yeah. I was told, actually, that they had a backup save and this happened to all of them because they do need to kill their save the animals. They can't yeah. not do that. Especially low percent uh, races, it just happens. They don't have any Yeah, I mean, that, that was, there's a risk in not that kind of a race. Oh, crap. Them. That's but the battery count those, here. There it is. Those pulled through, Ooh. man. And that was pretty amazing. I mean, like, God, that mother brain fight is so freaking tense because you really can't afford too many mistakes. No, don't get that. Oh, you bitch. All right, that's fine. Accelerate. Don't pop that battery interface, please. Thank you. Meanwhile, we're having a fight that's tense for other reasons. Thank you. Get dunked. Oh wow, alright. How did that happen? Okay, fuck off. I'm running. I'm running. Fuck off. There we go. <laughs> oh. Whew. Okay, that was a good collider. Pull back nine seconds ish. Still a buck twenty behind though. This is just proving that the crowd did us a favor by snagging all. I don't know, man. I still, I think I still would have done better with Aubergine with Sam on Starch there. We probably would have gotten sub 50. Didn't Sam point out that you did better with Starch than he did or something? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I probably said something to that effect. I don't know if that is. But we'll just go with it anyway because uh, Sam is able to rise across and make it to that. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, nice. Missed the fucking black hole shot. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> But like, yeah, that's that's an interesting thing. It's like trying to get an actually fully coordinated four-player run would be insanely cool to watch. But it's like even just on bosses, you would all have to find those safe places to go or step out of the other player. <laughs> yeah, they were. Ricky starts pointing out that they were just trying to save us from Aubergine and Holly. Oh my goodness, good. yeah, that would have been a, a disaster. That would have barely managed that the rest of it, probably. I don't know. No, it still would have been a couple minutes under, but it wouldn't have been as fun. Yeah. It definitely wouldn't have been as fun to watch. Please, 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 please. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you could have avoided that anyway. Oh no! Sure. Damn it! No, please get up! Oh, fuck me. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Oh, jeez, we're going right through that shutdown. Yes. Yeah. I was like, fuck it. No, not getting it, I guess. Also, here comes the laser! Uh. I don't know, I should try to find that clip again and save it permanently. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm pretty sure Moon did. Oh, CJ or something. Like your firecrackers outside now? Oh, 
I swear I'd be trying to suck. Yeah, that's one thing I got to miss out on was, you know, freaking nutters who want to shorten their lifespan drastically and then fail at it. Uh, during July 4th. But there were also crazies out at 3 a.m. on this or something below the hotel yelling at the top of their lungs for some reason. Yuck. Like, I was on the 16th floor and I could hear them pretty well. Make no sense. For the safety of well, I golded on Ether Sphere somehow. Oh. But that's about the only plus to that run. Yeesh. Alright, well, save them best, anyways. Yeah, my sum of best for Aubergine is 47 something. I don't think that's right. Hmm. Might still be using some of my cactus splits in there. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. All right, well, that's fine. That's the two speed runs I wanted to do. Let's, uh, let's, uh, where the fuck is it? Timer category is now. Energy. Okay. All right, we'll see how much of a garbage run this is. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Roger. Actually, still be drinking here. I didn't touch my drink in those last two runs because I didn't have time. Mm. Mm -hmm. You want to take a guess what uh, layer I'm going to go down in first? Wait, who are you playing as? Aubergine. Oh, Aubergine. Ah. Yeah. Uh... Take a stab. I don't know what your usual for Aubergine is. Oh no, my I don't have a usual. It's all over the board even with starch. Wow. I guess I'll just go with the standard, which is 33. 30? Wow, oh, holy shit. That's very confident. I wish I had that confidence. <laughs> <laughs> but alright, 33 it is. I mean I'm more confident in your ability to do that than my own. Especially with Aubergine, I wouldn't stand a chance. How about you, Restart? You want to take a guess? Take a guess which layer I'm going to go down in first. <laughs> anybody. Actually, anybody watch. Take wait, a guess. Wait, wait. Go down or survive? It? Oh, no. No, no. Uh, take first uh, knockdown. Oh, shit. I didn't realize to see that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um... I don't really remember the I, I don't really remember the uh, composition, but I'm gonna guess six. Six. That's a good guess. Six does have a bullshit mind phase. Yeah, I thought that was that one. Yeah, I think my start was also misconstrued. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I might have said that very, very stupidly. But yeah, layer first knockdown, not uh, not game over. Like 33 might be a good guess for game over. Depending on if I get yeah, Dark Embryo was, or not. That was my original intention. <laughs> well, I think I've done up to 39 with Aubergine. I forget if 33 is still my highest. It probably is. I've never done Dark Embryo on this. <laughs> But it's kind of like East Origin to a degree, where like it kind of kills your hands after a while, and it takes a while, and you don't feel like doing another one. Yeah, because it seems to end like right when it starts picking up. It's like finally I'm to the spot that I need the most practice on. Oh, you're dead. Uh, Hilo, please, where are you? Thank you. Layer 5 has this phase. Okay. <laughs> Layer 6 kind of has an abbreviated one as well. Ooh, Jesus, almost took it right there.
sure what I'm gonna stream. I should finish out that, but I'm not sure whether I want to finish out that. I'm still kind of in that phase of let House Mox sit in the corner because I was disappointed by Next Mox in there. It doesn't grab me from a replayability standpoint like I thought it would. Uh, and Outland's an okay game, but I mean, I wouldn't say it's an amazing and I'm gonna go back to it, but it wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad for it to come in the grass, so I should do that. But then I might do some, start doing the new ones next. I might do the new way it would get it, and you see the new ID before it comes. Because Dime has a list of logs that's recommended for the new way. Not into crazy difficult logs yet. I don't know that I would ever do crazy difficult logs. They don't look that fun to me. It's just like, oh look, it's a mob of like a hundred enemies shooting me at once, including like three octopi. Alright, well six was a no-go. Got another guess. <laughs> Extra survival. Yeah, well I was already thinking to myself, like, I don't remember the composition. I'm gonna overshoot this time and say the, the one after Vespi. One after Vespi. I think that's 16. Basically, the time to do it is between Embryo and Vespula. And uh, Infinity Drive. Bother doing that. Ho Holly, maybe? Uh, I mean, how, the, how is that on the first? The, uh, the toughest part with her is getting to Licorice with S plus still intact, but <laughs> usually once you get to Licorice, it's not bad. I, I still kick myself because I almost did it with Star Clones, but the first wave I didn't get. Oh boy. Right. I, I almost got it with Licorice. But I ended up dropping it at some point during the late one. Alright, well, there's our casual thousand chain. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, God, how many, what, what was TV's record? Like 6,000? I don't know, some ridiculous amount that no human should ever be able to get. <laughs> I think I've had 4,500 once. That was all the way through, start to like one or two waves after justice. Can't you do it with VPC4 Vespula or something like that too? Like the cheese strat for it? Oh shit. Oh please. Please no. Please no. Please go away. Oh damn it. Player 11. <laughs> oh fuck. 
It was, oh, mines. It yeah, was mines. It was mines. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, I did right. say I was overshooting. Oh. Pitch there. That's right. That's not bad for Aubergine. <laughs> for me with Aubergine, Tyler. I tend to forget that I'm watching someone who controls Aubergine with game pad. That's why I watch you with Aubergine, so like, it's uh, kind of a big deal because controlling Aubergine with game pad is kind of like trying to control Accelerate extended. Battery up. <laughs> Restart says TV's just a new type of Android that which means <laughs> a new type of Android frame that which being created and never told us about. That could be. You know, this is really a documentary. I think it teleports back to you after a while. Because I was going to say, it looked like he got back to you awfully fast when he was seemingly intentionally did that thing where you release a file when he was around the wall from you. Yeah. Sometimes he has a tendency to get stuck in walls too. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> or hit, I guess. I don't know. Where is he? Fuck off. Hit him. There we go. Trying to avoid that happening during our 4 key run sometimes, just like shooting in a general direction that was off screen. Like, I'm pretty sure something might have escaped down there. And I was right at least a couple of those times. Oh, there's the speed. Dangerous. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, oh, oh shit. And fuck you, Miss Bula. Oh, man. Actually, yeah, given your track record with this fight tonight, why did I guess the layer after her? That yeah, you should have just guessed her straight up. <laughs> Best we fight? Holy oh, shit. Accelerate. I didn't get to hear that. 
I keep forgetting what other game we heard that mentioned in at GDQ. Oh yeah, I remember that. It was, um, shit. That couldn't have been Adverse Truck and Gunroll, was it? No, no. Oh god, that was scary. I threw it to get away from it. Oh, jeez. Alright. It's dumb. Stupid stuff, playing way too dangerous. Should not be doing any of this. Yeah, most of that's not intentional. Yeah, but it was definitely happening there. <laughs> it's like, oh, that didn't hit you because it hit Meta Me instead. Okay, sounds good. Oh, 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 oh. 
stop doing that. It's not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, it's a last ditch, last ditch effort to save your butt. I managed to do one uh, during control before. I actually, I felt like my control was actually sort of under control. But I didn't time myself. It's probably like, I'd be lucky if just said that. Plus, I was not really, like, super rushing into each stage. Because I was trying to give up the chat. Laser turrets really spin opposite the red ones? Uh, I thought so. Because huh. I like I remember seeing it in uh, in Infinity Drive specifically where like both of them spawn at once and they're going the other way. Huh. Maybe I just never notice. Oh that stop. Don't do it's that. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> ah, <shit. laughs> oh god, what happened? I'm gonna find out in a few seconds. Oh god, wasps. Yeah. I'm surprised it's the wasps that didn't have the mine before. Still got the battery, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't get that battery, that would have been fucking dumb. That, yeah, that would have been awful. Probably wouldn't have killed me, but would have been not happy about it. Yeah, they were too stacked on each other. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, did I get him? Oh, wow, I still got him out of that. All right. That works. <laughs> Over here, shit. Watch me. Watching phase two justice with the singularity on him. Yeah, it's just like moving around, then moving around. No, you're really. Oh crap! All right, fucking air twenty-four. Little side ah. not actually moving anywhere. No, blue doggo, please. Oh god. Not the blue doggo. Oh god. Yeah, yeah that was rough. Well, it. Well, that's another one I missed out on. I have to start a list of puns for the next time we get this game.
check myself now, because I'm going to hit myself if I was actually going to this. So, red laser goes off. Oh, Jesus. I was actually wrong about that. I'm gonna be really upset with myself because that would be at least two things I was wrong about. That's all right. I mean, it's not like nobody's ever been wrong with Gump, but... Wait, what was the other thing you were wrong about? Ooh. Not realizing that the blue flame of Pokemon actually does only start with Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think I still do that either. To stand that side if, if you're otherwise not ready for it. But I acted like we couldn't do it. We just don't do Please get out of there. Dude needs to chill the fuck out. Okay, yeah, reds are clockwise. I don't know when the next layer is with blues. I think it's coming up though. Maybe 28. as a mine can. <laughs> Damn it. Studio is supposed to be doing like single life hard mode or something. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, he definitely died you know, at some point, and then like restarted that level on easier difficulty or something, I guess. 
which kind of like, I don't know. If it's supposed to be single life through the entire game, then I think that could be the point. Yeah, I, I think so. But, but I don't know. It seems like a, it sounded like a gutsy thing to say. Obviously, now Omni Gamers, one of the firemen, also uh, was on the hardest difficulty with single life, but he does certain rap things, like rap things, which are just very fun and risky. Yeah, but in Bleed, I don't think you get health pickups unless you choose a certain character. Oh. Uh-oh. I just saw the knockdown. Oh, this is where we get to see both things at once, I think. You want me to leave one alive just in case? Nope, it's dead. Never mind. What's funny is you're cutting in and out of Discord a little bit, but I do have a screen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I didn't hear this double too late and still alive. I don't know. I guess Discord has that sensitivity Oh, fuck. <clears throat> well, I'm actually using two different microphones right now. One just for Discord and one for the rest. Oh. Makes it easier than dicking with the virtual audio cable stuff. Oh, God. Sam is in Yo, what's up? Oh, fuck. Sam is in a jet. Christ, yeah. scared me. Oh, can you hear my air conditioner? Yeah, for some reason you're way louder now than you were before. It's weird, I don't know. I didn't see anything. It's coming through fire on this, so I don't know what I did. Okay. But somehow I had him turn up on this one. How's it going? Uh, it's going all right. Almost layer 30. God, driving sucks. I hate doing that. Yeah, I don't. Like, I avoid driving. I don't want this. I probably should go. This would be a better idea now. Oh, it's like a slap. I'm a little worried about what they didn't drive for so long, but actually, didn't she just say she took a rest stop or something? Yeah, she, yeah, I think she got off for food. I probably should eat something today, oh, too, at some she point. She stopped for food before actually sitting out. Rest stops in the middle. Mm. I wish you would have known so many other machine people were going over this car for somebody. <laughs> Sucks. Yeah, kind of. He just like got delayed also. <laughs> of course it did. Yeah, I mean it's PJ with this guy. Somebody probably tossed coins in the morning or something. Good luck. A lot of people's gonna have flights to like later in the night and they're still there for the Yeah, a walrus climb is pretty and you can have a fourth floor totally deserted now. I would not want to be there because that's just super sad. Yeah, it was, uh, when we got up at, uh, when we got up at 8 or 9, they'd already taken down all the tables and chairs. And it was like oh. Uh, it's like, wait, where am I? <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. It's like, wait, was this last week a dream? Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I'm glad they're not going back to the hotel again. I mean, it seems like they're basically still looking for a winner down there. Up there in Minneapolis, from where I'm, from my perspective. But, uh, we try a different state, and he is just not working. <laughs> All right. I don't uh, know why it's done in Minneapolis. Blue laser is counterclockwise. So I think you're right. It was in Colorado or something once or twice before that. Uh, yeah, so that laser is definitely counterclockwise. I am not incorrect. It is the other People are saying, uh, people are saying good things about the Westin Hotel and, uh... Was that the Oracle? They're saying good things about the one across from the event hotel, too. Doggo, please. Doggo, please. But yeah, the, the Overflow Hotel supposedly had complimentary breakfast and, like, dinner appetizers or something. Yeah. 
for being such a fancy hotel, the Marriott sure was pretty shitty. Yeah, basically felt like they just, you know, they charge what they could get away with. And don't really actually try to live up to what you're paying for. I mean, like, I didn't, I, I definitely sort of started seeing what you meant about the pillows, like, because you could, like, feel the fun beats and grab those kind of, like, stupid. Um... You had to, like, just step three of them on top of each other to get any kind of support from our those ridiculous. Yeah. Which, like, again, for me is, I, I have less of a problem with that because I have more problem when I have pillows that are really, you know, dense and fluffy because I can't really sleep on my stomach, which I really uh, tend to be able to do in hotels because that's what I pillows. Um, I sleep with a uh, memory foam, so it was hell for me. Yeah, I've never tried memory foam. Oh shit, it's 31 already. Fuck. So now they're putting oh, no. on the sleepers and shit too. I don't know. Put memory foam in chairs, put memory foam in my pants, why not? It's a good material, I don't know about shoes, but. I think the sneakers I have supposedly have memory foam, but you know, after standing there for like a day, well, guess what? The memory foam remembers where my feet are, and uh, it's just basically flat now anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck off. Uh, no dark embryo this time, I don't think. Definitely felt less than that since I stood in there for a few days. And I took a skull, yeah, wow, holy, that looked really amazing. It was like, wow, at least six times right there. I don't know if I can recover oh, this another one in the bottom left. Oh! Now, but yeah, what no, they said. Not anymore. Yeah, he's probably not going to be able to do anything about that until after he's done it. And I don't know if he's going to be done after this or not anyway. You still were saying the game audio is louder than Discord. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. Firepower. Yeah, what you going to do? I can swap it after this. It's probably not going to survive too much longer. Yeah, I may choose to enter that for the way, so I can fall asleep. Oh! Ah, fuck off! Yeah. I had a shit ton of stuff to do when I got home. I took a nap, and then I had to do a lot of stuff. I wish I'd taken tomorrow off too. Yeah, I'm feeling that too. But I mean, I think I guess we I was a dumbass and then, you know, I slept eight hours and I'm like, yeah, I don't really feel like sleeping anymore, but I could maybe sleep more, but no, I would. Well, I was better off doing like 12 hours of sleep or something, which is what I originally expected to do. Oh. It would be so bad if I just missed so much sleep at the event, anyway. Yeah. It's one of those cases where you need a vacation, a close vacation to yeah, It didn't really feel like a vacation at all the time. It's just because there's so much to do. Yeah, I mean, like, it's sort of neat, because, you know, I'm playing the games and people are making us on these, so, you know, it seems like you get more vacation. This is layer 33 though, and you missed Dark Embryo presumably because of all the crap you're having right before. Yeah. Yeah, there was no chance of me getting Dark Embryo after that shit show. I, I feel like I probably did pass 33 but I could be wrong. I don't remember what I was doing. Quit trying after a while. I just didn't really, just wasn't fun anymore. Oh well, yeah, I haven't tried in a while. If I'm gonna do things that take an hour and murder my hands, then I'll probably go for things that take two hours and practice two board. You could do a race, but it's still too much to do with you. Not exactly. I don't know that I'll ever do EX. Is there a world record holder on that? No, there's a Japanese guy lost on him, who's basically a whole bag. Oh! He's so he's basically human right now. I forget if he's second or third for Tolu X. I think he might be second for Tolu X. Uh, yeah, he's 
third behind Tele... Wait, this... Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, he's, he's third behind Losty and Telegamus for... Uh, Tell... He's very close to Tele... Oh my god. Like he's Tele... 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 Is Telegamus Japanese too? No, he's, uh... or something. Yeah, finish. Still makes it hard for him to get there again. Yeah. And then Telegamus... And goes to Kinder second and third also for Tori X. Uh, I think Ghost King is planning to go for sub 120 Tori X. So he's, he's gonna try to catch up to Tori Giannis. I was surprised Flying Fox was able to make a ticket with a lot of money. Now, is she Australian or British? I think oh, she's Australian. I'm trying to think if there were other Australian runners. I feel like I heard at least one other mention of Australian. Now, Bowie, I believe, is British. At least I don't think he's a script. Uh, I can't remember who the head is. I think like the, was it the Sonic Bond or something? That oh no, like she's British. Okay. 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 Not that I'm great at distinguishing accents, but I would have assumed British anyway. But uh... I don't know why I thought she was a yeah. Her plane ticket was like $1,300 or something. Which is the economy? Because that's probably accurate. And her, uh, her world record for Tails of all the features oh, is fuck. her GDQ submission. It's very funny. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I need to go back and pay more attention to that one too, so I'm like kind of half saw it. Yeah, I think they refer to the Sonic block as the Asian because it was a bunch of European Uh, And also, I don't know if Big John was even at this event. I didn't see him. Uh, he would have been at least around the comments of Super Mario or something. Oh, no. I don't think he made it. Shit. I don't know if he only does it. Battery, please. Get up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did the battery go over That's there? That's so dumb. No! What oh, God. What is that? Oh, no. Oh, uh, this is good. Jeez. Oh, okay. Battery, please. Battery, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, that was best. No, oh, get up, 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 I think this is the end. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be the end. Oh, 
Battery, please. Thank oh you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, we've got like some serious uh, Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The shit layer. Why? The what? Ah! I thought the shit layer was. I thought, I thought 38 was the shit layer. Oh, 37 is the shit layer too. It's got the fucking conveyor belts. I mean, I'll give you 33, which is obviously where things go to die. They need to stop being on the outer ring, please. No, get him! Oh my god. Well, oh, alright, that's probably it right there. Let's get a lucky pop on one of these. Oh, geez, No, no, man. I'm so done. Eh? 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 Nope. <laughs> 37, not bad for not getting Dark Embryo. Yeah, right. They are all shit layers. You're right, restart. They are all shit layers. Let's see what kind of trash the daily is. Oh, why did they do that? Come on! What's up with all these mega kegs? Fucker. <laughs> we see them turn around and immediately run to them. Oh, Munster's plane also got delayed because it comes in lightning. <laughs> Literally, the bathroom doesn't work on ground level. It can only operate at elevations greater than 16,000. Huh. That's weird. That's, that's PJ's plane. Right? How much great times you were having with Vespa today. Yeah. Like, yeah we're gonna Give us another one, why not? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. This oh, is kind Android Cactus and, like, officially sicking the Mo'ikai meme on the bomb here. Oh, shit. Oh, God, you were right in the line of fire of that. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. I shouldn't have doubled back. Oops. Oh. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Oh, the mines. Okay. Whoopsie, poopsie. I don't know. The mines still make me do that.
this. How bad do you think uh up with the or something? Uh, probably not too bad. Oh, well, oh, Jesus, fuck, all right. That's cool, I guess. Oh, hi. Yeah, who's this guy? Ugh. Yep, so this is, uh, <laughs> for anybody who happens to be watching here for the first time posting a video, this is Dark Embryo. Um, you may notice oh, he's a, real a little shit. bit... <laughs> yeah, he is. This is a little bit rougher than regular Embryo. There are much, much more insane bullet patterns. It's kind of like if Embryo digested venom or something, I don't know. Honestly, it's a pretty good job on fourth phase. It looks like, yeah. yeah, okay. Damn, that was like one knockdown on phase four. I'll take it. Ooh, ooh. I am total rubbish at phase oh. four. I really haven't had much specific practice on it. But phase five, on the other hand, is just like, oh god. Oh! Oh, and I missed him with the fucking thing, too. No! Oh, idiots. God damn it. Yeah, recovering from knockdowns and dark is really good. Uh, that was dumb. Yeah, but playing against him with anything besides stars was like for me. That wasn't great. It wasn't great, but I survived it, so whatever, I'll take it. Oh, uh, this is daily drive? Yeah. Yeah. So the lines are empty on layer 8. <laughs> <laughs> no, we missed, we missed the Dark Embryo bus on uh, Infinity Drive. I was yeah. real confused for a second. Titans wrecked me pretty hard in 31. Wait, 31. Oh, what's that? I think that's I right before, I thought I saw you get right? by lasers there, too, though. Ah, uh, maybe. A lot of shit happened. Can't remember it all. Oh, jeez, please. For uh, for future GC submissions, I think there's a limit to how many people can run GC games at the same time. By the way, I guess they four. Have they ever done a four-player Borderlands one? But also. A limit to how many PCs, or a limit to how many people on one PC, because that's two very different things. I think they can submit up to. Hold on, it was in the. It well, was in the submission guidelines. That'll be number one until the regular people wake up. Oh, it's Dark Embryo, what, later 8? Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Because, yeah, people that aren't in the U.S. are totally regular people, and we're total the odd ones. I mean, yeah, technically this you, is true, but... They can support up to four people running a PC game at the same time, but yeah. beyond two, people have to bring their own laptops or computers. Oh, okay. But, yeah, so that's talking about number of machines to separate machines yeah. to run it. So, for something like Borderland, that matters. For something like uh, Cactus Wars local co-op, then that doesn't matter. They um, also take into uh, consideration how easy it is to tell what's happening because uh, everything gets smaller for people. Yeah, I guess that's true. Huh? Which again, for local co-op, is not a problem. <laughs> well, except for Cactus being just everything everywhere all the time. Yeah, but it's one screen. <laughs> yeah, if we're just doing like four-person co-op, it's different. Well, we would 
I don't know I that four, I don't think four feet go up would be like feasible to practice, really. That would be a problem. I think that would be something that if we could get it really coordinated, it would look really cool. But unless we can do that, I would honestly side with people that are like, this is basically just a fast let's play. Yeah, four players. Something. Something I it would be, we'd have to get at least one other really strong racer that's really good at uh, gamepad. That too, yeah. But I just mean we would need to practice together, otherwise there's no point. Yeah. Well, mean, with, with Parsec it's possible to do that, but again, well, only with one person. Pars with Parsec and an internet connection that could, you know, upload an entire yak. It's not that bad on the people connecting, it's just whoever, whatever PC is hosting it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Fast. That's what I mean. There needs to be a host that can handle basically like, you know, streaming three times at once or something. Yeah, it's just, it depends. Like, there's... Which, on a flat. good day, my ISP might technically support, but... It's oh, not always helos, please. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the internet connection for, like, cloud computers is or not, but... My, if we could find one with really fast... Actually, that was a thought I had, which was... Is Parsec multi-platform? And could I get, like, an X... Well, one, do minor GPSs have graphics hardware? And two, if they do, can I get an X server to do that? Pretty sure you can find VPSs I mean, like, with I could at GPUs. least test that theory, but I suspect they don't have graphics hardware. <laughs> uh, Parsec does work on Linux. I tried it, it wasn't that great. It says it does. Again, I was doing something weird, so whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it says you can connect to your game PC over the internet from Windows, Mac, Linux, or Raspberry Pi. Okay, yeah, but, but I don't care about connecting to like your best server. They can't serve me, uh, so that whole idea is new. It has... Oh, in order to host a server, you must have Windows. Well, there goes that. Yeah, you have to have Windows to host a server. You are correct. Ooh. Oh, nice. They're all going to have pretty powerful graphics cards. No, yeah. they're not, because most servers don't need graphics cards. Well, if we're getting one that's aimed at gaming, though, it's going to have a powerful one. There's no point in just getting, like, a server-based one. Like, the one we had for Parsec, it had, uh, Wait, what? I thought you wanted you just hosted for Parsec. Is that not how it worked? Apparently not. I thought that's what that's what the case was I as well. Do what? I thought you just hosted the Parsec. I didn't think you were using an external server. No, I was using a cloud computer. Oh, okay. And that is okay. That explains why you're looking for it that way. Because yeah. I, was like, I didn't think that existed, but I didn't I thought Parsec was a self-hosted ah, thing. Fuck me. Uh, it can be if you you can't play uh, well I don't know if you can I couldn't figure God it out. Man. I don't think you can play on the computer you're hosting the server. Or oh, I right. couldn't I figure, figure it out. Yeah. I couldn't figure it out if you could. I might just be stupid though. I didn't try that hard. If we're stupid, because this boss rush is kind of dumb. It kind of sounded nice. like they said you could, but I just like this was easier. Uh, like, this, is, this is easier. It'll be less strain on my computer. I'll just do it this way. Be less strain on my internet connection too. <sighs> I mean, theoretically, I think we should be able to just make sure we shouldn't have somebody else connect to it. But I don't know. I'd have to ask them. 
I think I'm done tonight. <laughs> so tired. Oh well, yeah, so I'm surprised bad. you want you've basically done all the modes at this point. Oh, you just okay. <laughs> yeah, you just went down. You were doing really good up until that point though. Yeah. That's how it goes.